Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pratik. This is a surgical video demonstrating technique of proximal femur nailing for intertrochan trach fracture of the hip joint. Our patient is a 70-year-old lady who sustained injury to her left hip joint after slip and fall at home. X-ray, she was found to be having stable intertrochan trach fracture of the femur. After administrating anesthesia, patient was positioned on fracture table to achieve reduction under IITV guidance. Now a skin incision is applied approximately 1 inch superior to the tip of the greater trochanter. Deep fascia and the gluteus medius are split in order to access the tip of the greater trochanter. Now we insert a curved owl just lateral to the tip of the greater trochanter in AP view and right in the center in the lateral view and we advance the owl up to the level of lesser trochanter to open up the femoral canal. Now we remove the owl and insert a guide wire through the track made by the owl and advance it till the level of distal femur. We confirm the ideal position of our guide wire in AP and lateral view before doing the entry reaming over the guide wire. Now we choose appropriate diameter short proximal femur nail based on patient's femoral canal which can be assessed on the IITV. We mount the nail on the jig and advance it on the guide wire. Now we advance two guide wires through the jig for the proximal screws of the PFN. The position of the guide wire should be confirmed on the IITV in such a way that they are in the center in lateral view and in AP view the inferior guide wire should be touching the calcar and going towards the center of the head. At this point the length of the screw is measured and the tracks for the proximal screws of the PFN are drilled over the guide wire. Now both the proximal screws are inserted and then distal locking screw is also inserted through the jig. Distally usually we have two options, one is dynamic screw and other is static screw.
star iitv image is showing final fixation of our fracture thanks for watching